Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin 2 Challenge Mode. Last time, Nova and I beat the Emperor's Realm and the Sniper Room, showing off every level there is to cover in Challenge Mode. This time, I, going solo, am going to be going into every single level which we failed to perfect, trying to clear them as quickly as possible, not caring about treasures, since those don't actually matter here, and just trying to get through them without losing any Pikmin. Because there is something to be unlocked by doing so. I'm not just being OCD, there's something to show off. So, starting with the <clears throat> first level, <laughs> I'm going to be facepalming a lot at how I possibly failed this. Explorer's Cave, sub-level 1. And for some reason, 1 is yellow. Similar to the 15-day skip, I'm going to be montaging throughout this video and showing off different different portions, different struggles. Starting off the key here. So showing off different struggles that I may have along the way and a lot of different uh, failures because, as I just said, the only way that, or the, uh, the way that you don't perfect these is to lose a Pikmin, so there are going to be some awkward times where, <laughs> where I lose a Pikmin just by, like, throwing it off a ledge or throwing it into a bomb or something. I am going to clear this sub-level out, and I'm going to perfect it without throwing a single Pikmin. That is my goal. Ah! Good job, Pikmin. So, clearing out... These first. You two! Take this! Remembering not to hit the A button at all. And this is how I will instill fun little challenges for myself. Okay, I have all 50. And... Let's swarm! Did I do it? Ah! Uh, woo! I did it! I did it! Don't, don't mind that I had to use a spray. I, I did it without throwing a single Pikmin. Somehow Olimar got knocked into that. I probably stood a little bit too close. This kind of feels like a strangely instituted challenge mode with how what the primary objective of this should be to get treasure, but where are you going? Okay. But to perfect this, you don't have to get any treasure at all. I've gotten two treasures this entire th this entire level and I'm fine. Get him! Yeah, bitter spray, the speedrunner's dream. Do not get eaten. Whew. Collector's room. So this one we didn't perfect. It's seven. Oh no, I remember this one. Oh, I totally remember this one. Isn't this is the multi-floor one? Yeah, where we have like no time at all. Well, this shouldn't be too difficult. It'll be more the, one of the the more enjoyable ones because we just get to fight enemies over and over. Okay, so this guy has the key. So, throwing. This will hopefully be enough. Yes, it is. Okay, take it back, quick. Uh, the cave's gonna be over here. Uh, no, it's gonna be in this dead zone, right, right here. Nope, I was right the first time. No, I was wrong both times. 26 seconds left. It, time actually really doesn't matter in this one. I have to be quick, but it's not that bad because I don't have to collect any treasure. Let's swarm this guy. Will you kill? Yeah, you will. Okay, get that key. Get it. I, I really don't want to take my chances with an orange bull orb. Th those guys... I don't want to say that it's guaranteed that you'll lose a Pikmin, but unless you have purples, it feels like it's... It's very- it's stacked against you heavily. Man, that- that point right where he turns around and he just kind of stays still always worries me. I feel like he's just- a, what on earth is happening here? It's a weird love- a weird love story between the white Pikmin and the Bulborb that is what happened right there. Don't read that story, folks. That's- that's not good. What would that be called? Like, that- that book. Would it be like, the Bulborb sheds its spots? That's terrible. I, I should be ashamed of myself. I forget what I have to do. I think it's just a bunch of treasures. Oh, no, it's a Gatling Grink. Well, I'm glad I didn't save my, my bitter spray. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. This would be a bad time to have to redo a level. Okay. Come on. 
You know what? You know what? I have the time. I'm going to do the trap. There we go. Ow! Okay, so now he's stuck. I We've employed this trick a couple times, and it's really great. It it eventually, it basically just... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't kill me. Olimar! Olimar! Come on. There. That's, that's good. That's good. I think he's dead. Oh, no, he's not dead. Olimar, be a good distraction. I really don't care if you take hits here. Whoa! I have all the time in the world. No! Whoa! Okay, this should be it. Yes, it is. Whew! And you know what? Just for good measure, I'm taking you back. Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't take you back. Because the, the I need to work on the geyser. Where's this geyser? Over there. And I can spray him again. And let's get out of the out of here. This is a fun one. A lot of these feel completely different when they are in the context of just rushing through, not losing any Pikmin. They don't feel like like gauntlet. Well, they, I don't know. They they just feel different. It feels like you're doing a time trial trial rather than a collectathon, which is really fun. A lot of Pikmin doesn't really have, or Pikmin 2 at least, there isn't really an aspect of saving time since you have an unlimited amount of time to complete the game. So a lot of times playing the challenge mode just kind of fills a void that's empty in, in the game's mechanics. Get him! Kill him! Kill him! He has like 2 HP left. Oh, that'll do it. There. Good job! And that one Pikmin even picked it up for me. Great job! As odd as it sounds, I'm actually uh, kind of looking forward towards the end of this Let's Play. Oh wow, that's the easiest thing in the world. The key is right there. I'm kind of looking forward to the end of this Let's Play. It sounds really weird, but you guys don't know what's ha what happens on my end. There's no chrysanthemum there. You guys don't get to see what happens on, on my end of, of things, where I have to... I have a bunch of co-op Let's Plays just st just stacked up, and I'm unable to really record anything at this point because I have Terraria. I have another secret le project which is is halfway recorded, and I have um, the next Let's Play which isn't even part of that in the works. Okay, where is this? I need to pay attention. Near a white gate. Where is that? Is that right next to me? It's right next to me. I didn't even have to go into any of the other areas. <laughs> that was pointless. But yeah, I have so many projects just kind of piled up, and I have requests to do Five Nights at Freddy's 3, which I didn't honestly think you guys wanted to see. And it's just, it's weird. I have so many different directions. I have, oh my goodness, I have so many people wanting, reaching out, wanting to do co-ops. It's crazy. And I'm not going to threaten him here. I'm gonna wait for him to go underground again. Actually, you know what? No. He's gonna turn towards me. Never mind. He's not. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Get on his head! You did it. I guess this is working. Yeah, this is working. Will they be knocked off? Nope. I missed. There. Oh, this is bad. Get him dead! Get him dead! I'm gonna have to bitter spray him again. Got him! I got him! I got him! I think that's it! Get on him! Come on! Kill him! Kill him! He has a couple in his mouth! Yes! Yes! Man, that was close! I did not think I was gonna be able to do it there. Oh, man, that was... That was great! I've never had to bitter spray lock an enemy like that. Actually, no, I think we did it against the Titan Weevil, but... Never when there was so much on the line of me having to redo this. There it is. Man, that was good. In fact, celebratory vape. Look at that. Yeah, I did it. Subterranean lair. 60 Pikmin, 4 sprays, and 1 floor. I don't even remember what half of these are because it's been a while since I recorded the. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't like where this is headed. I, I don't like where this is headed at all. I, I just remembered that the bull bears are a thing. Oh no, this is the one with the bull bears. I had four sprays, right? Which means I'm gonna have to line up two bull bears. 
Oh, this is not good. Come on, come here, come here, come here. Oh, no. No! Ah! Oh! Kill this one! Kill this one! Kill this one, too! This one's gonna be so hard! Kill him! Kill! Ah, so close. I got all the bull bears. I just didn't get the children. So they're all following me. <laughs> now what do I do? Do I just bitter spray both of them? That's, that's pretty good. Maybe bitter spray the third one? That's, this is pretty good. Ah, oh, I lost one. Man, that was, that was about as good as I'm gonna get. Um, this isn't bad, actually. Because if I can, oh wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, this guy's the key! Oh, oh, the game just changed. Oh, the game just completely changed. I don't have to feed all of them. If I can get lucky like that, then I can lead the other ones over here. Where are they? Come on. Okay, there are the two. And then... Eat that, and goodbye! Goodbye, I do not need to deal with you. Uh, the geyser's there. If I can do it quickly, knock that thing out! Yes! I'm out! Goodbye! Ho <laughs> ho! Secret testing range, which means I only have three left already. The Gatling Grunk on the left is the one that holds the key. And that one's still over there, completely clueless uh, to my existence. So, to be honest, I don't think this is going to be that difficult with me having only one captain to have to manage here. There was always a bit of an unpredictability about which captain he was going to lock onto before. But I think that I can I can do it here. I'll just knock out these two geysers first, since this is where I plan on fighting the guy. And I'll just do it like I did it last time, just with, or in the, uh, the solo campaign. Just with a, a little bit more, a few more cares given. Because I, I know that I don't really have the squad for this. I don't have a bunch of yellows. So throw one on him. And then whistle the rest. My goal here is to get all of the Pikmin on him while he's bitter sprayed. Oh, he's, he's going to do that first. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, if I just hide behind this, it should be... We should have this in the bag. I'm gonna wait for him to lower. That's what I was waiting for. And that should be... Not his undoing, but it'll be a lot of damage. Oh, that I got every Pikmin on him. Oh, that was half of his HP! That was half of the guy's HP! That was great! He can't shoot me from here. Nice. So I don't have another one of those, which means the remainder of the battle is going to be a bit more drawn out. He's also shooting through his leg, which I should have helped him with. Also, his leg isn't awkwardly on... Yellow. His leg isn't awkwardly on the, uh, the lip, which means he's not, his body isn't raised like it was before. This isn't bad. Oh, this is, he's in the red. Get over to the, the embankment. Get over here, purple. Oh, that was close. He started to shoot at my back line, and those shots will make it if he figures it out. All right. This should be it. Get on him. Yeah. Oh, no. Get. Ah, that was, uh, I was too greedy. I was too greedy. Oh, no. Ah. It'd be really nice if you didn't run away. Stop running. You didn't run before. Thank you. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No! Why are Pikmin flying everywhere? Saving this Pikmin. The Pikmin! <sighs> Wait, what? Oh, this was the wrong one? A bunch of things just changed with this, this challenge. The drops are different. The... everything is different. I'm gonna walk around so there are no stragglers.
Did I lose any? No, but I got shot. I have no clue how I didn't lose any Pikmin there. Okay. Throw some Pikmin on. Color sort them, please. Thank you. Oh, please don't shoot that one over there. Oh! Yes! That was, that was professional right there. Professional Pikmin play on display for you today. Okay, hit him. Oh, that was good. I actually hit him with a, a purple. I think I got it this time. Despite a lot of complications, I think I have it in the bag. And a lot of times that I really should have lost when I, and I didn't. Okay, running cross. I got some on him. He's down to red. I'm not going to be greedy. I'm going to give him two more cycles before he's dead. Not one, even though he's at really low health. That's not that's not an indication of him being dead. Switch over to my yellows. And I probably could have left him on, but I I really didn't want to have to deal with the the chance of him being at like 50 HP and living. And yellow. I just have to throw one Pikmin on and he's dead? Yes! Yes! Now, unless something incredibly stupid happens, I should have this in the bag. Why am I doing this? Uh, I need whites. There. Okay, make sure none of the Pikmin drown. Make sure a trap doesn't fall from the sky and kill him. And I should... Yellow... It should spawn right here. And it does. Okay, now as long as my Pikmin don't jump off the edge, I should be fine. Yes! Swarm this thing, and let's leave! Let's get out of here! I can kill this guy, and he, the other one fell asleep for some reason. Okay, that's not bad. Let's bitter spray these guys up, or spicy spray them, and kill this guy? He does not have the key in him. That's weird. All right, oh, there's the key. Oh, well, that makes things easier. I forgot that it was just on the opposite end. Well, I think we're in the clear. Is it a geyser or is it, it's a geyser, okay. And it's right next to base. Oh, well, we're out, we're done. See, see much, how much easier some of the caves are when I'm not trying to lose Pikmin? I don't have to bother, the, like, the treasures, getting the treasures is what makes it difficult, but, you know, that strawberry right there, when we don't have to deal with things like that strawberry, then we're, we're in the clear. And with that, I only have one more cave left to go into. The Cave of Pain wasn't that painful when I'm not trying to get any p treasures, so, does she have her children behind her? If not, I don't need... She does, okay. Oh! We did it? We did it, I think? We did it. Yes. Oh, that was close. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Did I really make that mistake? Well, just finish me off. Why don't you? Actually, I can't stand to watch that. Yeah. Why are they still burnt? Why are they still burnt? Well, that kind of worked ish I have no clue why they were still burnt. Maybe he got reignited for a brief... A brief moment in time, but... I mean, my... My theory almost worked. If you can just throw purples onto the... The fiery Boldlax while he's in the water? I mean, they're not going to drown because... Or until he's dead, they're not going to drown because they're on his body. That kind of works. I'm getting close. I, I can taste it at this point. We only have to get through one more sub-level. Yes! Okay. There is a baby I will need to kill with my bare hands. But otherwise, that would be the end of it. So the bull blacks I only need to kill one, you'll remember. And that's the one that has the key. So the question here is wait, whoa, 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 hold the phone. Hold the phone. Uh <laughs> oh, magic. Aw, oh, the game detected it. Oh, that was great. 
But I only have to remember the the one that has the key, which I think it's the one in the water. Maybe? And let's see if we can just kill him in one go. Maybe? That'd be great. I think we can. Yeah. Okay, uh, Olimar, actually, you're gonna take over here. With just purples. And that should kill him. Yeah, that kills him. Also, notice that Pikmin right there. He got his fire put out by going into the water. Why can't the blues follow his example? Why can't they? I'm not sure if he can eat multiple at once to deal more damage. If I can try. He got all three. Did that actually do more damage? I don't know. I think it did. Okay, I need to be careful. Get off him. Need to whistle my Pikmin. Okay. Let's get him on land. Purples. Kill him. Oh, that was close. Whew, he almost got some in his mouth, and I had no bitter spray to stop that. So we got we ended up having to kill all of them, but that didn't that didn't stop us from doing it flawlessly. The captains took some damage, but that really doesn't matter. We did it. No deaths. Now where's this thing gonna pop up? Whoa! Whoa, okay. The game's just getting a few more glitches in for the road now that it knows that we have only four? Four episodes remaining? Yeah, I think that's right. That's crazy. Four episodes remaining in Pikmin 2. And then we get to move on to the next project, which hasn't been... Which is going to be a co-op Let's Play, and then the project after that, which I'm really looking forward towards. The game's never gotten an official English release, so I get to, uh play around with that, and that, I already have that set up, so I'm, I'm really excited about that. Alright. Oh, and we also get to view the cutscene! I forgot about that. That's why we, we're doing this. Um. Cutscene? I thought we unlocked a cutscene here. There it is. I think this might trigger, Future Pal correct me on this, I think this might trigger after, if you complete the game, and you have also perfected all of the challenge mode, levels, then I think it might show after the credits, but I'm not sure. But anyway, Louis Dark Secret. Let's find out what it is. The president entrusted Louis with the golden pick pick carrots. But Louis couldn't suppress his powerful hunger. And he ate every last one. Then he falsified his report to the president, which led to Hokitate Freight accruing an insurmountable debt. Yet another adventure caused by gluttony. There's this game, and there's also Pikmin 3. Actually, all of these games have been caused by food. In Pikmin 1, the reason, the entire reason why Olimar crashed on the planet was because he got up to go eat or drink some tea. It even it says it in the book you get with the game. So all of these adventures have been caused by food. Food is the true evil of the N Nintendo Pikmin franchise. Although, did you really expect the culprit to be anyone else? The Space Bunny story didn't really hold up when you consider, if we can go into the story mode here. I've yet to show this off, and I'm probably going to be showing it off in a bit more detail come the bonus video, which comes after the two-player battle mode videos, the three that are going to be coming out. Possibly four. But if we go into the Piclopedia, there's my favorite part of Pikmin, or one of my favorite parts of Pikmin. And that are that is Louis's notes. I th I'm not sure if I've shown this off, but even if I had, I'm going to show it off again. So after you complete the game, you get... I, uh, you get Louis's notes added to the Piclopedia, which, unlike Olimar's, where they talk about the anatomy of the enemy, these talk about... Oh, let's see, where's a good one? Oh, this one's a good one. They talk about how to prepare the enemy in the kitchen. So let's read. Although the meat is a bit on the metallic side, the oil makes a mouth-watering gravy, or a lubricative, uh, lubricative vinaigrette. 
Or this one. Although cooking this colossal beast yields a mountain of meat, every ounce of it, of it is flavorless. The only su suitable, only suitable for intergalactic all-you-can-eat buffets. Or no stove, no problem. This sizzling beast practically cooks itself. Remember to thoroughly extinguish the steaks prior to eating. Now, some of these are legitimate recipes. Uh, oh man. Yeah, like this one. Boil in the shell with a pinch of salt until bright red and serve piping hot with tartar sauce. That's something you'd actually do with seafood, with a some sort of shellfish or crab. It makes sense. And a lot of these actually are dishes that you could prepare, albeit not with the actual enemy, but with a substituted food. Wagpuls can be eaten raw, but they're pretty they're much more flavorful when steamed or grilled. Also heavenly in risotto. Uh, feel free to experiment with this lush ingredient. So yeah, it's really great to just pour through these whenever you're bored. He he talks about everything. Like, you can cook any one of these, and, and he has an opinion on it. But yeah, it's great. Alright, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next time, if I can go back to the menu here. Next time in Pikmin 2, we are going to be starting the last of four episodes. And I'm going to be facing off with some of my, my good friends in the battle modes. We're going to be doing best Toyota 3, which means there's an odd man out, but if all works out as planned, I do have a special, a special little experiment for the, the final, the final arena which is left out, which should be, which should be exhilarating. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Pikmin 2 every Tuesday and Thursday, and episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is still going strong, and will continue to go strong during the LP break between this and the next LP, and that is released every Monday and Wednesday. Join me next time for the battle modes, and I'll see you guys then! That's gonna be it for this episode, then. Whoa, 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 hold the phone. After this episode, quote-unquote, ended, I, I did a little bit of exploring, and I found, you know, I found some normal stuff. I found a, oh, where is it? Uh, I found a Stalnox over here, which I haven't defeated because it was daytime, but I also locked onto a shrine. And I think that's what this is. And with the, the lightning everywhere,